We are now having a developer who has worked on Concord having an official meltdown over on X where he is pretty much hiding replies. And in order to unhide those replies, he is requesting for those people to pay him $8. These are the type of people that these studios continue to hire. And this is the result. The result in which the game fails on launch day, not even being able to break the numbers as early access or the open beta were able to achieve with only sitting at 700 peak in current players, which is actually lower. If you go onto Steam charts, you can see that the all-time peak has been at 660 with only 342 players playing the game. And this is what happens when you have people comparing this game to Overwatch and saying that this game is the Dollar Tree version of it with having DEI elements into it as well as pronouns which are absolutely unnecessary to have in any sort of game. And before we get into the article, please don't forget to subscribe, like, or dislike. It doesn't matter. It helps the channel, and I much appreciate it. Former Concord developer maligns critics as talentless freaks as game fails to hit 700 peak concurrent players. A former Concord developer who now claims to work for PUBG Studios maligned gamers who are now opposed to Concord and its woke DEI agenda. X user Anim Xander posted to X to celebrate Concord's release. It's Concord release day. So insanely proud of the team and what they and we have accomplished. A labor of love like nothing else. Been playing it so much since early access. Started a few days ago and I'm so excited for it to be available to everyone. He added, and I'm so honored to have had this game to be my first AAA game. Was a huge learning experience. Lots of struggles but I'm glad to have gone through them. Time to go play. And if you go over to his Twitter page, you can see that this person has a they, them in his bio. These are the types of people that we're working with here, folks. As we continue on, ex-user Preston responded to this post writing, I'm so sorry, this has to be your first. I do not believe it is you or any of the other devs' fault that this game has performed so poorly. I can tell that a lot of effort was put into completing this game. It just came at the wrong time and genre. So here we're having a person who is showing empathy, compassion, and essentially the game not performing how it should be. And this is where it gets crazy, where Anim Xander responded, Hey, I don't really care. It was a huge labor from a lot of insanely talented people making an awesome game. Why would I care about a bunch of talentless freaks hating on it? I'm sure having fun playing it and I wouldn't trade it for anything. And so this is absolutely funny to me that we're having two sides of the spectrum. We're having a person that's shown empathy and another person that is attacking people that are criticizing the game for what it is and not being able to bring anything new to the table when it comes to this Overwatch space, not bringing fun gameplay, let alone any good characters, because this is what they're focusing on. They're focusing on pronouns, they're focusing on these DEI elements instead of bringing something new to the table for the average gamer to enjoy and to bring something new to this gaming space. But that is not what they want. And he continues on, despite claiming that he does not care Adam Xander hit a handful of responses and demanded users to pay him $8 if they want the post unhidden. You can see the hidden replies below. And do you know what? This is funny that we are having the same group of people that constantly talk about censorship and always shut other people down because they don't agree to their narratives or their ideas or their political viewpoints. And this is how it is taken when it comes to the online space and pretty much hiding them and requesting to pay them. This is censorship to the definition of it. And as you can see right here, you can see people replying to his tweet on X. Thank you for this crappy booty game. I'm so sorry, but I'm not playing a game without disabled representation. Yeah, I'm glad the 10 people who pre-ordered are having a blast, though. It's probably not going past season to. And this is the reply that he pretty much is sending to all the people that are either criticizing the game or just not a fan in general. He says, pay me $8 to unhide your reply. And it's not surprising that we were seeing this type of censorship and these types of people being hired over at these developing firms when you have people such as the lead character designer, John Wesniewski, saying this over on Twitter about four years ago. The entire thread addresses white supremacy. Proud boys are white supremacy. Police brutality is white supremacy. The entire penal slash judicial system is white supremacy. The whole thread is white supremacy.
And it's funny to me that he doesn't address any other race when it comes to the police brutality. It's only as if white people are the ones that are causing all of the political or the physical violence in this country. Which is funny because this is what has caused a lot of these words to lose meaning to what they originally had when it comes to calling people racist or phobes, or in this case, white supremacy. It has little to no meaning in today's modern day and age because of the way it is used. It is used to extreme amounts that make absolutely no sense. And it's no surprise that Concord, the game, has all these DEI elements and these pronouns and these character designs that often represent little to nothing of the population when you have people such as John here representing the studio and leading the teams. And it also confirms even further that this studio is very progressive as stated by the World of Warcraft team lead Mark Kern outside of the game on the company's website. It also states, our team is actively looking to add passionate visionary creators who thrive in environments where the status quo just won't do and who genuinely want to be a part of a collaborative, inclusive, and respectful team. Well, a respectful team they did not achieve when you're having people censoring others for their opinions on the game, on criticizing it for not being what it should be. And this is why these types of games have continued to fail when it comes to these terrible agendas, these terrible narratives, and the terrible gameplay, and yet alone bringing little to nothing of newness to the gaming space and with all that in mind don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and i'll catch you all in the next one bye bye